Well, good evening. It's season 12, episode 7 of Cooking with Dan and Monica in the Kitchen. And tonight we're making a lovely spaghetti with garlic and oil. Spaghetti aglio e olio. Classic dish from Naples, which is spaghetti sauteed with olive oil and garlic and maybe red pepperoncini. But I have a special secret ingredient which I'll show later. Right now I'm chopping up, slicing very thin, about seven cloves of garlic, eight cloves depending on the size, for my half a pound of spaghetti. You can adjust the proportions of the ingredients later. So half a pound of spaghetti will be served nicely by these eight cloves of garlic. Okay, well I'm gonna continue to chop these up. And after they're all chopped up, I put them in the saucepan. And to that cold saucepan, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Now you can use light olive oil here if you like. I wouldn't recommend any other kind of oil like a sunflower or vegetable or canola. There's no taste to it in the olive oil if it's cooked very low and slow imparts really a lovely flavor. So I'm going to set this on the stove at the lowest possible temperature I can and it's going to go for about 20 minutes even before I start to heat up the water. Ah, maybe 10 minutes. So let that get going and we'll be back when I'm sauteing the garlic in the olive oil and boiling the water. Okay we're back so you see the oil shimmering there and the garlic just dancing around the pan, pan ever so delicately. The smell here is absolutely sensational. And the garlic will just take on a nice golden hue, not terribly dark. You don't want to burn it, it turns bitter. And I've added the water to the pot, which is going to boil. Now this is a rather small pot. But I'm only going to cook eight ounces of spaghetti. Okay, and there's my garlic. All right, back. So I have this cutting board here that I was slicing the garlic on, and I spilled a little bit of olive oil on it. You generally don't want any olive oil in the pot while you're cooking spaghetti. Uh, you need the starch water, and the oil just makes it slip right off. What's on the cutting board, though, is here is insignificant. So I have half a pound, eight ounces of Barilla pasta. This is my favorite, this or the Checo. And I'm gonna take these eight ounces of pasta and put it in the water when it finally comes to a boil. Okay, the water's getting warm, not quite boiling. When it boils, I'll have the salt and then the pasta water. But I just wanted to give you a progress check on my olive oil. You can still see around each piece of garlic there's a little bit of bubbling so it is cooking ever so gently I will heat up the temperature of the oil when the pasta is finished but we're not ready yet okay so we'll come back when the pasta is ready to be introduced to the water All right, I've got a different view here. You can see the water in the pot is boiling. And to that water, I'm going to add some salt. Usually, it's about a tablespoon of salt for a pound of pasta. So half of that would be one and a half teaspoons. But because I don't want to put any salt anywhere else, I'm going to add two teaspoons to this pot of boiling water. And mix it up, let it dissolve. And we're going to add the spaghetti to the pot. Now the spaghetti is much bigger than the pot, so in order to submerge I'm going to have to be very gentle with it to delicately make sure it submerges underneath. And here we go. Okay, gentle with a wooden spoon. We're not going to break any. We're going to keep the strands nice and long. And we'll come back to that. It's not yielding just yet, so let me play around with my garlic.
Now first let's try to play more with the spaghetti. Okay, we've got it all underneath. Now let's take my rubber spatula, play around with the garlic. You can see how the oil is warm, mildly hot. You probably can't touch it, but it's not terribly hot. Nothing's burning. The garlic is gently, mildly cooking. And now let's play with the spaghetti one more time. Get it all mixed up, fully submerged, and ready for cooking. So this will cook to al dente about eight minutes in the pot because I'm going to finish it in the pan with the oil. Okay, I've tested the pasta, it's about done. I've increased the heat to the pan of oil to make it a little bit warmer, not hot. And here's my secret ingredient, the paprika. Here I added a half a teaspoon, which is a little much even for my taste, but I do love it. It imparts a lovely flavor to the spaghetti and it adds great color. If you want first, try a quarter teaspoon, or it's completely optional, don't add it at all. By tradition, nobody adds that, but I love it. Make sure you do not use the smoked paprika. Use regular sweet paprika. Okay, once it hits the warm oil, you can smell the paprika after it blooms and it's such a great taste. And the red pepper flakes in there as well. Um, add to your liking. It's not terribly hot. I have barely a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon in there. And let's mix that all up. Now, as I have increased the water, uh, the temperature in this pan, what I'm going to do is take some pasta water from the pot and add it to the oil. It'll splatter a bit. It's not terribly hot, but it's warmer than it had been the whole time. This serves two purposes. One, it'll prevent the spices and the garlic from burning while I await the finishing of the pasta. And secondly, it provides the starch in the pasta. Speaking of which, Pasta's done. I've tested it a couple strands. I'm shutting off the heat. And let's drain it, but don't rinse it. Just drain it into a colander. I gotta find my pot holders. I have a colander in the sink. So we'll drain that, and then we'll throw the colander right back into the pot just to capture any excess water that we might need for this sauce. And Bingo, there's the pasta into the, the garlic and oil. And let's turn that around. It's gonna cook for another minute or so in the hot oil on the pan. And as you can see how red the spaghetti is getting, feel free to add less pasta, uh, sorry, less paprika or more as you like. And one additional ingredient we'll add later which is optional as well, but with or without paprika, I'd recommend you do add it, and that's the parsley. So let's cook this a little bit more. Make sure everything's well coated and the oil's absorbed into the spaghetti. And let's kill that heat. And add the spaghetti to the dish. Scrape out all the spaghetti and garlic from that pan. All that goodness, the garlic is so sweet here. So if you slice it very, very thin, it might even dissolve into the garlic. I'm not that good. And there's my addition of the fresh parsley. And let's mix that up. And there's a wonderful side dish. Uh, should serve two or three handsomely. Uh, to chicken, pork, fish, or whatever. Spaghetti, aglio e olio. Thanks for watching. Bye.